Oh, oh, we got two, y'all. We got two. We got two. Yay. Oh, uh, I think you had checked them earlier, hadn't you, Eddie? I usually check them first thing when I yeah. come out with the dogs. Yeah. yeah. And we put this clip on here, y'all, to make sure. Because, you know, raccoons, they have hands like ours. And they can use them like we use our hands. So we put an extra safety measure. So all you chicken ladies out there. Ah, 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 listen to Fang. <laughs> you are so cute, Fang. You're so cute. Uh, I think I'm going to let them out for a while. And then I'll come back and put them away. Y'all come out, little pretty chickens. Come on, my babies. Come on, girls. Bark, bark, bark. Y'all play. Play and pick. You know, I went out to the chicken coop and I didn't have but two eggs in there. That's all those girls had for me. Oh, and I forgot. I've got to go put them up. Uh, but anyway, I, I do need eggs in this recipe. And uh, I got just a, the recipe emailed from a lady in, uh, does it say where she's from? I don't see it. But her name is Sue. And I'm probably fixing to slaughter your last name, Sue, so I apologize. Schmeichel, S-C-H-M-E-I-C-H-E-L. I hope I didn't brutalize it too much, Sue, but I very much appreciate it. And this is the info she got me. Ginger doodle cookies. It's a cross between a chewy gingerbread cookie and a classic snickerdoodle to create a new Christmas cookie that will be an instant favorite. So I thank you, thank you, thank you, Sue. Uh, I'm fixing to share your recipe with the rest of the world. And it's got a lot of ingredients, it looks like. Flour, uh, that must be bacon powder, no, cornstarch, and soda, and cinnamon, and nutmeg and cloves. Let's see, it's got ginger, cloves, and nutmeg and cinnamon. So it's got four spices in it. Uh, brown sugar, salt, molasses, an egg, and sugar. All right, so the half a cup of sugar uh, is to be divided, Teresa. Is this so? This is a fourth of a cup of sugar. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So, let's get started. All right, so I've got my plain flour. I've got my cornstarch. I've got soda. Sounds like that was soda, right? Yeah, soda. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Looks like about a half a teaspoon of salt. And ginger. And what is that? I think that might be nutmeg. It is. Okay, and cloves. Yep, that's definitely cloves. Cloves, uh, they really have a unique smell, and it's usually a strong smell. All right, so I'm just going to mix those together. Now, uh, this is the sugar and the cinnamon that we're going to mix together because we're going to roll our dough into um, balls and then we're going to roll them in the cinnamon and sugar. So you can see where the snickerdoodle thing is, is coming in. That leaves us with the wet part of our cookie dough. We've got a stick and a half of butter um, um, and uh, of our brown sugar and our white sugar. And we're going to cream those. You know, we just want to make sure they're creamy. 
and you'll want to make sure that your butter is at room temperature so you can get it creamy pretty quickly uh, all right so in goes our egg and in goes our molasses that looks like pure motor oil. Smells good though. Uh-huh. Looks like you could change the oil in your truck with that. And it calls for two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm going to measure to go right by Sue's recipe. Now all we're going to do is slowly kind of add our flour in with our wet. You have to have that thing just right. That little kickstand on those mixers. You have to have them just right. <laughs> or they'll teeple topple on you. Smelling all those spices. Can you smell them, Eddie? Yeah, yes. <laughs> Starting to smell like Christmas, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good, Eddie, doesn't it? So we're going to roll these in a heaping tablespoon. So they're going to be a, a pretty good sized cookie. Okay, so I got my hands washed, y'all. Now I'm ready to get them back in the food. So Sue tells us to use a heaping tablespoon. So I'm going to say that leveled off, this would be a heaping tablespoon. And we're going to just need to roll it in a ball. That's a, that's a big tablespoon. Be two I think that might be two tablespoons too. So I'm going to do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make them about the size that I would my peanut butter balls that I make for the children that I first ate in elementary school. So, wish I had a perfect one. I may be able to find another one, Eddie. So, she said to roll these in our sugar and our cinnamon. Oops, that's definitely bigger. Get back in that other pan. I do like all my cookies the same size. Let's try this one. Yeah, I think that's going to be about right. Don't you think? Yeah. So, I'm going to have to make him a little bit bigger. To match him up. And Sue said to take your palm of your hand and flatten these down some. So let's see. 4 times 4 is 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27 cookies this recipe makes. So uh, let's see. She says 350. Bake for 10 minutes. Okay, Eddie, I'm going to push them towards you. Watch my hands and get those in the oven. Okay, so two tells us, Sue tells us to sprinkle the tops of our cookies with the remaining cinnamon sugar mixture that we will roll in our balls in. So I have opted to do it right here while they're in the oven and still warm and receptive. To having the cinnamon sugar sprinkled on them. Good. 
They look delicious, and they smell even more delicious. So uh, Sue sent us in the in the recipe for this. She said it's a cross between. Let's see what she says. A ginger uh, ginger doodle cookies is what she calls them because it's a cross between a chewy g gingerbread cookie and a classic snickerdoodle. So that's a great name, ginger doodle, because I really. I really taste the taste of the ginger. Reminds me very much of a good gingerbread cookie. So I thank you, thank you, thank you, Sue, for sharing this recipe with us. And I know all of our friends out there that find this recipe is going to love them. And don't forget, it's Christmas time. Got to start that baking. <laughs> love them best dishes. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.